What's up, Trojans? I'm Angelina Sampson. I'm Trevor Lavelle. And I'm Zachary Diaz. Welcome back to STA 24 News in the new year. These past couple of weeks at STA have been filled with some great events. Let's see what the STA community has been up to. On Thursday, January 25th, the National Honor Society hosted its annual Winter Blood Drive, where students and faculty donated blood to the New York Blood Center. The NHS exceeded their original goal with over 60 pints of blood donated. With one donation saving up to three lives, the NHS estimated to save over 180 lives so far this year. Thank you to all those who organized the event and donated blood. If you missed your opportunity to donate, the NHS will be hosting another blood drive in the spring on April 26th. The end of January marks Catholic Schools Week, a celebration of all Catholic schools across the nation. On Wednesday, January 31st, the school community gathered together for Mass led by Father Mike and accompanied by the concert choir in the main gym. The STA community had a chance to express their Catholic faith. At STA, reflecting on our faith is very important, especially during Catholic Schools Week. After Mass, faculty and staff were celebrated for the years of service to the school and their dedication to the STA community. Select students were also acknowledged for their hours of service over the years. After the Mass on Wednesday, our annual Heart Heroes Volleyball game took place in the main gym. Our Hearts Hero Volleyball game is an event the school looks forward to every year. Now let's send it over to the volleyball game. Thanks, Zach. I'm Viviana Rodriguez, and we're here at STA's annual Heart Heroes Volleyball Tournament. Hosted by the Christian Social Action Club, 12 teams consisting of faculty and students competed to see who would win. Father Mike, how do you feel going into this event? Viviana, I'm excited for this year. We got a strong team. It's our third year together, and there's a, there's a fire. You see it in the guys' eyes. Players and attendees were encouraged to donate and all the proceeds from this event were given to the American Heart Association. This event is super special because it brings the whole entire school community in for a great cause. We're supporting the American Heart Association. It's a fun volleyball tournament at the teachers and students. And I love to share my love for volleyball to the whole entire school. That about wraps up our STA Heart Heroes Volleyball Tournament. Congratulations to our winners, the teachers. Thank you for everybody for making this event possible. Back to you guys at the studio. Catholic Schools Week continued on Thursday with one of our favorite school traditions, Teacher Swap. Seniors dressed as their favorite faculty members and even some faculty members dressed as students. Students worked with teachers to lead the classroom for a day to see what life is like on the other side of the desk. Finally, the week concluded with the most anticipated Catholic Schools Week event, Battle of the Classes. The freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes battled it out all day in a series of games. In the theater, students took part in Minute to Win It competitions. While this was happening, other students were in the Cat and Zara gym playing dodgeball or in the main gym playing other games like volleyball and speedball. After a long day of battling, the seniors took home the victory. Following Battle of the Classes, the STA community headed down the shore to the annual Polar Plunge on February 4th. Each year, we raise money and take the plunge for our school. Let's send it over to STA 24's Sylvia Rivera at Seabright Beach. It's time to face the freeze. What's up, Trojans? I'm Sylvia Nicole Rivera here at STA's 11th annual Polar Plunge, where students, teachers, alumni, and parents are taking the plunge into the cold waters here at Seabright Beach. Plungers were asked to take the pledge and raise money for the school. How long do you think you'll stay in the water for? So me and Kayla are actually planning on having a competition to see who can stay in the longest. So we're going for like over a minute. We're going to be swimming, floating, possibly body surfing, and hopefully we don't get hypothermia. <laughs> Great. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Mrs. Chippendale, the Director of Alumni Relations and Development here at STA. Can you tell us a little bit about this year's Polar Plunge? Um, our Polar Plunge, this is our 11th season doing this. It's through the organization of ancient Hibernians in Seagirt, New Jersey. This year we raised over $42,000 and we're still accepting donations. What we plan to do with the money is do building upgrades, um, change our lobby, make it more school spirit, and also we want to purchase a statue of St. Thomas Aquinas. What is your favorite part about the Polar Plunge? My favorite part of the Polar Plunge is just seeing all our faculty members, alumni, all together just for a fun day down at the beach. We had over 135 of us there to represent St. Thomas. I'm back with Caroline and Kayla and we all just took a plunge. So who won the competition and how are you guys feeling? Yeah, Kayla won that. <laughs> I went in the water and I immediately started swimming around and floating because I got over the initial shock and then I got out and decided to go in for a second time. And I'm really regretting that because it's 20 minutes later and I'm still shivering. <laughs> 
Yeah, I did not have the best of luck compared to Kayla. I did not get over that initial shock. I went in, all of the air left my body, so I had to leave as soon as I got in. <laughs> great, thanks guys. What a great event for STA. Thank you to everyone that participated. Back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, Sylvia. What a fun-filled couple of weeks it's been for the STA community. From the blood drive all the way to the polar plunge, it's been a blast. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Zach Diaz. I'm Trevor Lavelle. And I'm Angelina Sampson. Signing, signing off. off.